What's up guys, Patrick Foy here with Learning 5, where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just 5 minutes or less, and in classic fashion we're going to go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool text reveal like this, using trim paths, and you can put any kind of text in here you want. Let's go ahead and get started with uh, Command N on Mac to open up a new composition. I'm going to do a black background to start off with, HD settings and a 29.97 frame rate. Let's grab our text tool here and type in whatever you want to reveal. And I'm gonna align this, just put it in the middle here. All right, I'm gonna grab the pen tool here and this is where it gets a little bit different depending on what exactly you're typing out. So if I'm just doing something as simple as a T, this is very easy. Uh, you just go here, make sure your fill is set to none and your stroke is set to on and I'm doing about 30 pixels. Put this right in the middle up here and go down here, hold down shift to create a nice straight line. And that is how you start. And then I have to click off onto another layer just so it'll reset. And then you do that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next. Click off, if you don't click off, it'll do something like that and you don't want that. There may be a simpler way to do it. I don't know how to do it, but I am doing my best here. All right, guys, so when you get to stuff like this, like an S or an E or something that's a little bit curvy, what you want to do is you want to start right in the middle of the point, okay? And then you take it a little bit of a short distance and just kind of curve it as needed. That's That might be too much of a curve. All right, guys, and this is what we get. Mine isn't going to look as good because I'm trying to uh, do it a little bit quicker so I can show you this tutorial. Uh, so take your time with these. Make sure everything looks really nice. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our text layer. Actually, you can just go ahead and delete that. You don't need it. So it's not going to look perfect right now, but uh, you know, if you put a little time in, you can make it look great uh, like this first one that I did. All right, so now that we have our shape layer, we're going to go down here, toggle this down, add trim paths. Go to trim paths here, and I'm going to go about 10 frames in, and I'm going to set this for 100. Go ahead and keyframe frame that out. Go to one, one second and 10 frames in. Click zero. Okay. Now select both of these, hit control, easy ease, bring up your graph editor, select this right here, and pull this all the way to the left. Oh, not down though. Make sure it stays on this same level. And this is what you get with that nice, clean, really cool effect here. And just uh, to kind of make it look like the one I had earlier, what I also did was I made my composition background white. And then I brought in this photo that I got off of Pixabay. Go down here to mode while the shape layer is selected. Stencil Luma. I'm going to throw a fast blur on the forest picture with a value of 5. And then I'm going to add an adjustment layer for the lens flare. And I'm going to drag this into the corner up here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Command D to duplicate that layer. Pull up this lens flare and move it down in the corner here. And that's it, guys. That's how you do a logo reveal with Trim Paths. If you like this video, if you learned something, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe as I'll do many, many, many more text reveals. And if you have any questions or suggestions for a new video, hit me up on Twitter. Or you can see my handle down below. Tell all your friends that also want to learn After Effects. Stay classy, my friends. Baby.